Blog Talk Radio. Hey, it's Ken Kreitzer with another edition of Talking Business. And we're broadcasting tonight from the headquarters of CBSI Services in Harrison, New York. CBSI, founded in 1972, provides a full range of special benefit services to the consumer financial services field. Every day, CBSI programs provide warranty extension premium services to customers of major credit card, debit, and checking account programs. And today, our special guest uh, uh, is Mr. Eugene Raid, uh, who's chairman of Data Trade Limited, uh, located in Hong Kong, and uh, that is uh, uh, the China Insurance Marketing Administration Company, and uh, they are a third-party administrator offering uh, uh, services throughout Asia, uh, throughout the regions for direct marketers, and they can process claims. They can handle customer service. Um, a great all-around resources. And we're just waiting for Gene Ray to join us. Uh, a friend of our company's, uh, long-standing from his uh, years at AIG, where he was executive vice president, worldwide chief digital and direct marketing officer, and uh, he has. Uh, Long, many years of experience in Asia, uh, uh, working in places like Japan and Korea, and is uh, fluent in, uh, or at least uh, has uh, studied seven different languages, Cantonese, Chinese, English, French, German, Japanese, and Spanish. So being multilingual is really one of Gene Rate's assets. And uh, he is also uh, taught uh, direct marketing and digital interactive marketing at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And uh, he has degrees from the University of Maryland, Columbia Business School, and a master's in counseling from LaSalle University in Philadelphia. And uh, so we're going to talk with Gene a little bit about uh, uh, his career, uh, the services that his company, Data Trade Limited, uh, China Insurance Marketing Administration, provide in, from Hong Kong and to marketers uh, throughout Asia. And uh, a little bit about what he sees as the opportunities, uh, critical needs uh, in that marketplace, uh, and really the transformation uh, uh, that uh, he has witnessed in technology applied to marketing. Uh, certainly, uh, when um, uh, Gene Rate worked with our company, uh, insurance was pretty much marketed uh, through the mail or through personal selling. And uh, uh, the era of telephone marketing occurred and then marketing uh, through groups and uh, then also uh, through banks, where, uh, uh, which is CBSI specialty. And uh, but then the market really changed consolidation in the United States of, of major banking organizations, and then um, uh, really the uh, changes to uh, that were brought on by the internet, uh, marketing some policies uh, through the internet, and then also uh, being able to uh, uh, move into the digital age, uh, and really the changes that uh, have been brought on by mobile and mobile banking. Uh, you know, there's been such a change in the field uh, that uh, really new ways of, of marketing insurance uh, have been found uh, using digital, using mobile. And in the Asian market, we're quite interested because um, there, there's uh, really a dependency on the mobile phone as a, as a uh, means of commerce. Um, uh, less often do customers have banking relationships, checking accounts perhaps, like we're used to in the United States being uh, largely ubiquitous. Uh, mobile phones have filled the void as a payment processing and also a place where uh, value can be stored and payments made. And also be interested to hear uh, 
Gene's thoughts on uh, prevention of cyber uh, crime, and uh, we were doing a talk on that on our WVOX show today, a little bit coming off an interview I did on Saturday, uh, or a press conference, really. I participated in with the Secretary of the United States Army. So uh, we're seeing if uh, Gene Wraith can join us today, and uh, we've been looking forward to speaking to him for uh uh, since we uh, were reintroduced to him, really, by our friend Ruth Stevens, uh, uh, Ruth, a New York-based direct marketing uh, expert uh, instructor at several universities in the United States who has uh, had the opportunity to study uh, and go attend conferences uh, the last couple of falls and then also teach at the same school which uh, Jean Raid has uh, taught at that being the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Another, another program that um, Gene Raid's been involved with, and we hope to hear uh, from him on this, are the uh, John Caples Awards. Uh, and he uh, serves as the country chair in Hong Kong. And John Caples uh, was a extremely well-known copywriter in New York City, uh, worked for BBDNO, and uh, was credited with one of the most famous ads in advertising. Uh, this being a dad, I, I imagine it was in magazines, perhaps in newspapers of the uh, of the 1920s and 30s, uh, where uh, an individual uh, was approaching a piano, and the caption read, "When I approached the the piano." They all wanted to laugh, but when I sat down and played, they were amazed. So that, and actually it was, the wording is slightly different, uh, slightly more polished than my remembrance of that. Uh, but uh, but uh, that being a major program that the Direct Marketing Association uh, uh, encourages, and also um, Gene Rate served as the chairman of the Direct Marketing Association uh, uh, um, in recent years, and then he, uh, uh, then of course the organization has changed its name to the Data and Marketing Association, and uh, still, still a very, very important trade organization that we participate in. So hopefully we we'll give Gene uh, right a couple more minutes uh, to see if he can call in. We're hoping we had our signal straight on the time. Uh, and uh, so uh, seeing if this works for him. And uh, it's kind of a, a interesting hit or miss um, uh, with uh, calling around the other side of the world. But uh, let's uh, give uh, Gene Ray a couple of more minutes uh, to try and call in. And we'd love to hear from him. Uh, Gene Ray, the uh, chairman of Data Trade Limited, CLIX, GAX. Uh, China Insurance Marketing Administration, uh, which he has been with for four years uh, nearly, since April 2013. This is a third-party administrator, which means they can take uh, uh, phone calls, they can take enrollments to a program, uh, they can do billing, uh, they can handle subscriptions, which means that there might be a regular billing uh, once a month, perhaps, on that. And... Uh, uh, being able to do it on a multi-country basis is very special. Uh, certainly, uh, when you're working in that part of the world, um, and uh, said uh, he, Gene Ray comes from a background at AIG, which uh, has always been known for its uh, presence in 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 Asia going back. Uh, before World War II, and I look forward actually to hearing a little bit more about uh, AIG's background in the area. But he served as Executive Vice President, Worldwide Chief Digital and Direct Marketing Officer at AIG. And uh, uh, he has worked in, in many countries, uh, Japan, Korea, before Hong Kong. And uh, also be interested to hear what his view is on the Olympics. Uh, you know, uh, from his view in Hong Kong, uh, the, the Olympics being held in South Korea. So I guess it, the time change isn't going to work tonight, but uh, we will try to look forward 
Well, we will look forward and we'll try to reschedule this in the near future and get a chance to talk with an old friend, uh, Gene Rait, and uh, of Data Trade Limited based in Hong Kong. And so uh, I guess we'll just uh, – actually, I need to check the scoreboard. No, nope. not on, on, on yet. But, uh, again, a little bit about CBSI. CBSI uh, has uh, 40 years' experience uh, providing a full range of benefit services that have been used by credit card issuers since 1988. And one of the most popular is a double warranty benefit, which, which doubles a warranty that uh, a consumer has on a credit card up to one additional year. And, uh, and it covers most digital equipment and household appliances that are bought on a covered credit card. We also have a number of travel protection programs, such as emergency travel assistance and premium services, including concierge and airline travel lounge access. CBSI also has an extensive ability to provide customer service support to programs contact center management, and executive monitoring. And more, uh, just check our website, www.cbsiservices.com. And, of course, tonight we are broadcasting from the headquarters of CBSI Services in Harrison, New York, just, uh, just a short train ride away from New York City. So, um, I guess we missed our connection with uh, Gene Ray tonight. We will look forward to rescheduling with him and posting that here on blogtalkradio.com. So for CBSI Services, uh, this is Ken Kreitzer, Talking Business. Have a good evening, everyone. <laughs>